So you want to learn how to play Ember McLean? Well, have I got the guide for you. Now today we're gonna to be going over her moveset, some stages that she likes, and this is sort of more of a beginner slash intermediate level of play to try to get you good with the character enough so that you're comfortable enough to play her and so that you know and understand how she moves and how she works. We're gonna start with the basics and very quickly we're gonna go through them. I wanna to talk to you guys about her normals and just for the sake of convenience for everybody who's playing on different controllers, we're going to say up special. We're not gonna talk about it like how in Smash, it's always up B or side B. We're gonna do side special and talk about it sort of like how I did in Multiverses because there's a lot of different controllers that can be played with this game and it can often be confusing if you are talking to someone who does not play the same controller layout or the same controller as you. So it's a little bit different and it's better to talk about how it could be used and explained in a way that's more universal for everyone. If you end up finding this guide helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can see everything I do in the future and more guides that are coming soon like April O'Neil and maybe Reptar and Gertie. And if you want to become a member, join today. We're going to do some live streams in the future and I have some great perks there for you guys and we are almost fully monetized. So if you haven't seen the full videos that I have on my channel, make sure you do so and watch them because we're going to be having a lot of content coming out in the coming days. The thing about Ember that you need to realize is she's not the best character in the game. In fact, she is most likely mid-tier, maybe A-tier at the bottom of A-tier. As you guys see, have seen in my past shows, I've talked about this before how this character has some problems with how slow she is and she has some very glaring issues that are very much obvious to a lot of us but maybe not so much obvious if you're learning her to begin with now we're going to start off with her normal so you guys can understand how her normal moves work starting off with her light attacks we're going to talk about her f tilts and her tilt attacks and everything on the ground it's going to be down tilt kind of sweeps in front of you it's pretty fast for how slow it usually is for other games with down tilts she has a pretty fast down tilt it pops him up and you can follow up but that's her down tilt so sweep motion in front of her you does not hit behind her it only hits in front of her if you go to the hit boxes so this is ember's down tilt comes up very fast her up tilt is sort of like sora's up tilt in smash ultimate it's a pretty big move it hits on top of her in a swirling motion the problem with this move though is that sometimes people fall out of it so I don't know if there's going to be a patch in the future, but that is a move that is used a lot and it kills for some reason at high percents. Now, this other move right here is going to be called her F tilt or her forward light attack. And it's not active for very long, as you can see, but it is a good tool to kill as well as a potential get off me tool, but it's very slow. Now, her best get off me tool is her jab. One, two, three, and it shoots out a little bit of a projectile at the end of it. You can see a little projectile come out. That's her fastest get off me move. It's the fastest. Her F tilt takes a little bit too long and it's not very active the entire time. Her down tilt's pretty fast, but it only pops up in front of her and you have to follow up. Otherwise, the person's above you and you can maybe up tilt out of it, but it's really not that much different than just trying to go for an up air. Now, we're going to go through her aerials. She has a neutral air, which is similar to Palutena. It's a spinning move that gets caught and you can actually re grab or grab people when you land on them if you don't hit the last hit. Similar to how it works with other characters that have a move like this where it's spinning, you can kind of just do this move in front of you. But be wary that you are very vulnerable behind yourself. You can actually not do anything behind you. You have to turn it around and then do it. Her back air, pretty weak. It can do some stuff like edge guarding and getting a hit when it's behind you. But as you can see, it's not active for very long and it comes out to a point. Pretty chunky, but it doesn't kill very often. I rarely have ever seen it kill. It's more of like a tool that you use when you're running off of a platform and then or recovering behind you when you know you might roll. Now we're gonna talk about her forward air. Her forward air is this dunk, huge dunk move, right? Huge, it's gigantic. So if you go down, you can see how giant it is. It's pretty big. Now it's pretty huge, right? But it only dunks, I believe at the very middle or, or very, yeah, very middle or like the tip. But if you go too far on the tipper, it actually doesn't dunk. It will actually push them away. So it dunks at tipper, but if you have the, if you do a sour hit, it will push away like it did right there. Right there, see? So it's a very weird move. It's not consistent. You can get like a kill like that where you, sh you hit them in a sour forward air motion, but it's not always going to dunk. There's sometimes where the, the upper end of that move actually will push away. So it's kind of like a cloud forward air with a sour spot that's like on the top, middle, and the right and the bottom right of the move. It pushes them away, it's kind of useful for that motion, but that's about it. It can kill off the top if you can very barely tipper them, but that's about all that she can do with that move outside of dunking. Her down air is probably her worst move. They need to buff this move because it's actually smaller than the guitar and it's smaller than what it looks like. And it's actually doesn't really hit half the time. And if you are above somebody, sometimes it doesn't even hit them. 
And because sometimes character cards can actually duck this move, and it pops up instead of dunking if it's not directly underneath. So it's not the greatest move unless you're trying to do some weird stuff like killing from the top like that. But in reality, that's not really ever going to happen very often with this character. Now we're going to talk about her aerial charge moves and we'll get to her grounded charge moves after. Her aerial up charge, you can hold it and it's a huge move around her. It's a burst move around her. So you can kind of use this in tandem with her up special to get a kill. But sometimes it does not kill and you can also use it to stall when you're recovering. This move itself can stall by itself and it's really nice to have. So if you're trying to stall... You can actually like drift forward, backwards, left and right, but you can only do it one time. You cannot do it more than that. Same thing actually with her down aerial charge. She can actually spam this move to try to recover, but it's a little bit less forgiving than the up aerial charge. And reason being is because she can actually use these notes multiple times and sort of stall a little bit, but it's not always going to be the best option for her. But it is nice when you know somebody might be coming out to get you. It's better to shoot it out because it's a pretty huge projectile, as you can see. It stays for a while, too, and I think it gets bigger as it goes on. It seems like it does, at least. Yeah, this, at least it looks like it visually. I don't think it does as a hitbox. Maybe a very minuscule amount, but this move is good to, like, to feign where you're going to go. Like, pretending that you're going to go off this right here, you can actually just pretty much pretend you're going to do a move and jump back or even, like, help yourself levitate a little bit and you'll get put on platform. So this move, you can actually shoot it, but it'll pop somebody up and you can go back down and dunk them. It's a very good move for that in instance, but I would definitely recommend using both of these to stall because you can use the only one, the ARP charge one, one time, and you can use the down one right after that. And it's a good move to try to stall. Just be, keep in mind that if you do use these moves, you gotta keep in track how many of you used. Down aerial charge can be used more than once, but the up aerial charge can only be used one time. And if you try to use it again, you will end up dying because it won't come out. Now we're gonna talk about her neutral charge in the air. I don't really like how it works. It's, it's just only in front of her it looks like, and it's very, I don't know, it doesn't seem like it kills. The hitbox is small and it reverses sometimes on accident. So that she's got some problems in that aspect of her. You will rarely ever see anyone use this move. Not only is it slow and you can't really use it when you land, you have to use it right before you land, and it doesn't really come out in a way that would make sense for you to spam it. It's not very good, and I think it could be utilized in the future if they do fix it and make it more consistent. But outside of that, you're never going to use the aerial forward charge or the neutral charge, which is the same thing. Now, we're going to talk about her grounded moves. You can actually use her grounded moves in different ways. Her down smash hits on both sides of her. It's a good get off me tool, but it's slow. But it's only if you think you got them in the scramble. It's also going to be used for tech chasing. This down smash right here can be used on both sides of her. And so it's better to be actually used to try to use it as a get off me tool if somebody's rolling underneath you or if they're trying to do something at ledge. It's good for ledge trapping as well because I think it hits a little bit under the map if it's right here. It hits a little tiny, but not very much. It depends on how big the character is, but as you can see, it can, it can hit down there a little bit. Not very much, but this next move I'm going to talk about is her F charge, her forward charge, also known as her neutral charge. Now, this move actually does hit a little bit under the ledge. I know it doesn't show it here very well, but it's actually big enough to hit under the ledge. I've been actually two framing people when I hit right here at the ledge. Sometimes they actually just get hit because it's such a huge hitbox that lands right there, but the timing is very, very, very very tight you have to hit this move pretty much immediately as soon as they're about to grab the ledge and if they go a little bit above it like Korra's do sometimes running simpies do sometimes it will end up bad for them because if they try to mix up above the ledge they will get hit away with this huge knockback move the knockback on this move is pretty big even at low percents this move knockbacks pretty ridiculously as you can see right there you can't even kill and uh, it's a move that you can use, but it is not a good get-off-me tool. There actually is no hitbox near your body, so if somebody's in on you, you cannot just spam this move because it's only in front of her where the guitar is. It's got a pretty big dead zone, and you can get past that by pivoting or like backing up and F-smashing. Now, we can talk about her up charge. Not the best move in the game. I would say this move, actually, characters fall out of this move more than I've ever seen any move in this game. Multi-hits in this game still need some work. Like, this move does not work properly when you're up-charging on somebody. But you can actually run up on someone and up-charge underneath them and uh, anti-air by that as well. Because there is a huge hitbox at the end. Pops them up one more time. But that's the thing about this move. It go, it hits underneath, but it sees right there. There's a weird hitbox where it only pops them up one time. It is not very good for that reason. They need to fix that. But outside of that, that's pretty much what it is for her. We're going to go through her specials. Her specials are neutral special, which is this giant punch, right? This is like a little bit of a Falco laser almost, if you will. And you can actually do a short hop and do it, or you can just be on the ground and use it. 
The knockback and damage is a little slight. It's not too much about five damage. And you can use it at different varying heights from a full hop and uh, when you're landing. You can spam it if you want. It's not necessarily the best move to spam because it's really not that great. It doesn't do much knockback and damage. When you empower it, things change. Empowering this move goes about that far exactly from this left platform all the way to the right platform. If you go all the way here to the edge, it will not hit El Tigre. You can see it breaks in the, almost in the middle of the next platform over. It almost goes the entire stage, and her neutral special at, at base will never go that far. So you have a range to work with. We'll talk about the cheer variations in a second that will help you understand how this works for her. But for now, we're going to go through the specials normally. Her up special is her recovery move. You're going to be in lag basically the entire time falling down if you do not empower it. And even when you do empower it, you will still be in lag. You have to cancel out of it. The only time you're never going to have to worry about that is when you have the full cheer bar. It will be lagless at that point. Let me show you how what I mean by lagless. So this is going to be lagless. You can move right out of it. See how I mean? So this is lagless. So you can move right after using it when it's the empowered cheer mode one. But we'll get into that in a second. The next special she has, I would say, is her side special. You can actually use this move to stall in the air, and I do it quite a bit. And you move it forward a little bit more by a little, and you can actually use this move a lot. You can even spam it for the first note over and over again. You don't have to keep doing it. You can even stall away from the ledge if you wanted to. You just gotta be wary of her up special and how weak it can be. I would say her side special is nice to stall. You can also barely, barely bridge yourself forward each time you're doing it. So her recovery can be improved just by that move and stalling with the up smash, stuff like that. You can be creative with her just a little bit and that uniqueness of her makes it so she can recover back a little bit better. The full side special is when you hit your opponent, you can keep doing it sort of like Marth's side special in his games. Yeah, for melee and for ultimate, you can keep doing it. It is like an empowered, it is like side B, but you cannot change the angle and change the note, I don't believe. It only goes side B and that's it. You can't do different angles that you can with Roy and Marth. So that's a little bit limiting in that factor, but it's always going to be the same. If you hit the first note, there's not much hit stun on it. You can combo it into the side special though itself. As you can see, I'm glowing. I don't know if you can see because of the, you know, the UI is a little messed up, but I am glowing right now. And the reason why this mode right here when you're glowing is very crucial is because you have one decision to make with your moves, okay? None of your normals are, or charges are going to consume this bar. In fact, when this bar is active, you can see right here her cheer bar. That is actually going to be something that you need to account for because when you have this, you can have a better empowered move. The best way to use this pretty much is if you're trying to recover and you're really low, you can actually use this move and it will be lagless when you up special. And you'll be able to act out of it instead of being stuck in lag normally. Like how you normally act is you fall. But with that move active, you actually don't have to worry about the end lag. So that's one thing you need to learn about her is that her end lag is different depending on if she has cheer or not. It builds from fighting and hitting characters. It's one of those meters that it kind of sucks overall. It's not necessarily the best meter to have. It works very well when you do have it but it's not the best in the game. Reptar's meter is a little bit better because he has a fire meter that he can get over and over again. Whereas Ember's, it takes like 10 hits to get this bar back up. The best way to use this is either for recovering or if you want to use the neutral special. The neutral special becomes gigantic and it's basically like a, a better empowered move than the empowered, slime empowered neutral special. And it goes further. As you can see, the neutral special on the slime empowered one does not go as far, whereas the empowered one will. Go a little bit further. The side special, which does a little bit more damage, a little bit more multi hits, more knockback. The move I wanted to talk about is her down special. This move actually stuns characters for a long time if it's in cheer mode, but it stuns for a little bit less long if it's not empowered. So that's the thing about her. It is a stun. It literally will stun them. You cannot charge that, but they're stuck in hit stun the entire time. They cannot do anything, so you get a free move off, but that's the thing about her is that you can't really do anything optimal. Out, of, You can maybe F-charge out of it, right, if you hit it, but you have to be perfectly spaced for the F-charge to actually connect, and that's pretty much a punish you could do. It's not, I don't know if it's true exactly, as you can see the stun marker on him. It's one of the only moves I feel like that can stun. I've not really seen a move like this very often, but it can stun them. I believe the more you use it, the more you'll get used to it, but the empowered version of it is pretty good as well. It stuns for way, way longer, as you can see. 
But it's also kind of a waste because it's better to use it for other things because it's not really worth it to risk everything on one move that you may not hit. You have to be really close to them. If you're even a little bit away, it will not work. But if I push him away even a little bit and, I feel, and if I'm not close enough, it will not happen. So you really have to be attentive to where this move is. If somebody tries to jab you, they will potentially get caught in it, but it's not long enough to justify going for it all the time. It's better to go for the neutral B or for the up special. Unless you have them dead to rights, I wouldn't use the side special in that way, unless you really do have them dead to rights and they're gonna die in one more move, in which case you might be able to get away with using something else. Now that we've got all of her, all her specials and all her moves, we're gonna talk about more about neutral and how to work with her and how to do things with her. So you're going to want to get grabs. Now her grab game, I will say, is pretty bad. It's not the worst. There's other characters that have worse grab games, but her grabs kind of extended. Her F throw can kill at really high percents. Her down throw is more of a combo throw that she has, and her back throw can kill, but you have to be very much to the ledge right here. That's pretty much how it's gonna kill at high percents. It's a little bit of an extended grab when you dash. It's her hair that grabs you, so it's a little bit longer than other normal traditional grabs, especially when you're standing still. I'll show you how far away it can go. Now, this length it will not grab. You get a little closer, it will. That's how ridiculous it is. She almost has Marth range grab in this game, but her grabs aren't the best. You just got to be very wary. See how there's a dead zone. It barely, barely connects. So you have to be wary that you can't outspace other people's grabs and grab them from a little bit further away, way further away, pretty much, unless it's El Tigre's side special comes out. But you can grab them from a lot further away than you think you can. But at the same time, if you're right up here on them, they'll grab you. If you're just a little bit away, you won't be in range. There's some weird tangible things where you can barely miss their hitbox. But if you're perfectly spaced, it will grab. She can use up throw to try to get follow-ups to try to get on platforms i'm pretty sure McCl ember is gonna love platform maps she loves platforms i would say and her back throw 100 kills if you're at the ledge let's talk about her out of shield options she can't really do out of shield options as good as other characters in the game i will say though that her out of shield for her up special is one of the best in the game i would say i would say it's actually one of the best because she can just up special right out of that and do what she wants it's kind of nuts she literally can't up special at any point in time when she's in her shield. You just push up and special. Literally don't even have to drop shield. You just do it out of shield. It's pretty nuts. I really like that about her. You could try to implement down special, but a lot of times I've noticed I will accidentally spot dodge. So it's kind of annoying. You cannot side special out of shield. I keep that in mind, y'all. You cannot side special out of shield. You have to drop shield and then do it. But I will say you can up special out of shield whenever you want. So that's one of the more annoying tools that you have in your kit as this character is pretty annoying at times. Because you can do things that make people mad, like re-grabbing through this Nair, following up. You can really follow up and get the grabs. If you pay attention to how this character works, you can follow up on some stuff. And you can keep going as much as you can. You gotta make sure, though, that you know her movement. This game has really big vertical ceilings, so you need to be careful and wary of how many moves can kill off the top. Your up special can kill at very high percents. And, uh... Your up air kills also at high percents as well. I would say maybe around like 130, depending on where they are in the sky. Now, that's not that incredible. That's why we have up tilt, because up tilt kills at percents that otherwise would not, especially from the ground, which is ridiculous. But they fall out of her up smash a lot, her up charge from the ground. They fall out of it a lot. I feel like it's not really a move that's dependable. The back hit of it is more dependable for some reason, because they fall out of the move sometimes when you do the up charge on the ground in front of them. Like if you're doing this, you have to be like inside of them almost to even get results that you want consistently. She's one of those characters that has moves that pretty much just fall out of for some reason. Now that we've taught you about Ember McLean and her moves and things you can do, there are some things that I want to hint on in live gameplay that we can probably show you guys right now. Oh, Blaster, you have no idea what's about to happen to you, brother. <laughs> Ember McLean, a very fun character. I really like her and enjoy her. If you guys liked the video and found the tips I've been giving you useful, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you can see everything I do every gosh darn week. We're going to be doing some more guides and some more intermediate stuff in the future. Now, right now, I'm trying to show you live about what I would think I would do. I think you're always going to want to approach with Nair, pretty much. Your Nair is like your one tool you can approach with. You can also approach with like forward air, but it gets beat out by weak moves like that. Even the jabs that she has beat me out. If you don't complete it, you can even follow up with up throw to up air. And they never really expect it to come because a lot of times you're not going to finish the Nair. A lot of times the Nair will push away if you do finish it. But if you don't finish it, it will not push away. 
You can do her up air out of it. You can do her other moves. But be wary that not everything she has is quick. She's got very, very interesting moves. And she can also follow up from the sky. But once again, like I said to you before, they fall out of the moves sometimes because her multi-hits are not great. The multi-hits in this game need to be fixed a little bit, maybe tweaked. But you can follow up. You see how that puts in a tech situation right there? Because of the mistech. Did not expect to get mistech. They keep get up attacking. Ooh, almost got it right there again. You can keep following up almost, not infinitely, but really a lot. And also the Nair. Landing on them with Nair. Dunking. It works pretty nice. I didn't up special there properly, so I had to cancel it because I saw how low I was. You really have to be mindful of this character's recovery because it's not the best. Showing you right now that she's got a lot of combos. And this guy. See, I'm telling you right now. She can go into the sky. She can go up there, but her moves may not kill. Bing. Oh, God. Hit me. You need to make sure you know how to move mechanically as well in this game. As you can see, barely made it back with that empowered up special. Barely made it back. That was scary. You can stall with side special. I almost did it right there. And you can make sure if your Nair hits and it pops them out, you got to follow up in that way. I ended up neutral being to see how far they would go. As you can see, I've told you before, it does not go the furthest. And I don't know why they did that, but you can also ledge trap with that move. Pretty insane. So I'm going to stall right here. Look at that. I jump. Didn't even edge guard me. Didn't even try to, but... Ooh, the kill. I'm still not dead. She's pretty heavy. Okay, I barely died. She's pretty heavy to surprisingly. I don't know how. But also her moves are just huge. I should have went for Nair right there. Ooh. I will say the best part about this character is the fact that you can out of shield through the platforms on, on platform canceling. If you haven't seen my video already yet on uh, the fact that you can do platform. Ooh. Drop cancels. Ooh. What is it called? I'm, I'm, I'm philosopher for words. I'm playing this live trying to get it. Ooh, I almost got assassinated right there. Bing. Probably dead. There you go. That move kills. You got to be careful about how they come in on to you because if they get into a certain degree on you, it will whiff. So you have to be mindful of that. They're probably not going to rematch. Not going to lie. Shield dropping. Oh, she's still here. This person's playing a different character. Gertie. Okay. We'll probably do a Gertie guide. Oh, is this person going to beat their mind up? I'll probably play Gertie in the future too. I'm probably going to make some guides on her. But I will say, Ember, if you learn how to shield drop, you need to understand how to shield drop in this game. It is one of the most insane activities you can do because you can really just do what you want when you get the shield drop. You can even get your moves out that you normally wouldn't hit. I'm sorry to make an example out of you. Oh man, I was almost a follow up right there on my tech chase. What I'm saying though is that she really can do a lot of th crazy things. If they jump like he's jumping right there, you can really follow up for free and do more damage. And I don't know why he's charging that. Probably gonna tech a roll. I mean, ooh, assassin. No, apparently the platform counts as like a. That's weird. I had never seen that before. But that was a read. So you can't really just like really nearly throw this out because it hits slow. As you can see, he got behind me in the time that I missed it. So one thing I want to say is her up air is a champion move. She de definitely is like her winning move. She can use it. I just use it right there out of the platform. You can use it out of the nair as well. He tried to do a get up attack on me. The, the fact that down air pops up, though, is nice, but it's a really small move. Not the best move, I will say. You can even up throw into this. Oh, I tried to hit him right there. That would have been nuts if I hit that. But as you can see... You can follow up pretty much whenever. You do have to cancel out of her up special if you miss it sometimes, though. And I'm going to empower that. Oh, he almost he would just die right there. He almost just died right there from the pressure, but he had to not go forward because of that pressure. You have to, If you have pressure, that pressure alone will make people second-guess what they're doing. As you can see, I stalled right there. Oh, I'm definitely dead. Yep, I deserve that. But you can stall, as you can see, I did right there. He's probably going to switch. Nope. You get up attack. And as you can see, I don't finish the full Nair. Reason being, because if I did, then it would pop him away. I like just throwing it out there because it can pop away. And you can even do the tipper on that and kill. Like I told you earlier, there's a sour spot that you can hit on her. That works for that. Her B reverse is nice on neutral B. But I'm telling you, this Nair is what makes her for me. You can even cancel into this. You can cancel in it again. And then he had to burst. 
He might be dead. Oh, okay. He's gonna, he's definitely going to die if I hit that. Yeah, if I just did that, it's nuts. Oh, I almost got that read. As you can see, ah, the map is kind of weird. This map is kind of interesting. Let's see if I can hit this uh, down special. Now, see the down special? Yep. Oh, see, look. It didn't even have time. I didn't even have time to do it. I, I've only hit it one time. But I didn't even have time to hit it. I think falling down with it is also terrible. If you can hit it like that, you can get a guaranteed hit. And he, le <laughs> he left. Because <laughs> I was just spamming it to make an example out of him. That's what happens. I mean, hey, you get hit by that move. You do get hit into stun for a long, long time. And that's just an example of these this character being fun. And uh, if you guys like the video and you guys feel like you learned something, definitely pick up Ever McLean. She's super fun. As you can see, I've been making a lot of people quit. Not even intentionally. I'm just playing the game. It's happening ranked. It's happening in 1v1s. I can't even play her because people don't understand how she works. They just think that she's somehow broken, which she's really not. She's a mid-tier. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell button. I will be back with more NASB2 videos. If you want other kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments if you want some more Smash stuff or Smash streams. If you guys want more NASB2 streams, we are almost fully monetized, and I would appreciate if you guys watch all of my videos and try to watch them all the way through. That would help me out immensely, not only for the algorithm, but because I'm almost fully monetized, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching let me know if you guys like the guide and i'll see you next time soldier goodbye Ooh, we ride